Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture, we would learn what is a fact and an opinion, how we can differentiate between them, and then how we, we can identify a fact and an opinion. Then we would move gradually to learn how we can express our opinions. So let's begin. So facts tell us what happened and can be proven true or false. So facts are basically certain statements which can either be true or they can be false. But no one is showing their personal affiliations with that thing. Fact could be very general and that would be acceptable for everyone. So let's see what are opinions, then we can differentiate between them better. Opinions are attitudes or judgments that can't be proven right or wrong. So basically when we talk about facts, they can be proven when someone is talking that this is a fact, then they need to justify it as well. But when we are talking about opinions, no one would bother whether it is right or it is wrong because it is more of subjective in nature. We have already talked about this thing that what is subjective and what is objective. So we can generally say that facts are objective and they can be proven whether they are true or false because they are claims in their nature. But when we are talking about opinions, my opinion could be anything. For example, I say I don't like ice cream or ice cream is bad but that would be my personal opinion because I don't like ice cream that doesn't mean that this is true or this is false okay for you ice cream could be very good you might like ice cream you might love ice cream that means that this is my personal opinion that ice cream is not good so this is how we develop opinions and when we talk about facts let's say we say that the sky is blue Okay, so it is not my personal opinion that the sky is blue. It is a general fact. Similarly, I can tell some other facts which might not be true, but again they would fall into the category of facts because that is a claim and that one has to prove whether it is true or it is false. But when we are talking about opinions, when I say I don't like something, that then you wouldn't bother to, to prove me right or wrong because that is my personal opinion and that is my personal attitude towards certain things and similarly I can judge a thing based on my opinions so this is, this is how we can differentiate between fact and an opinion the way we can differentiate between subjective and objective statements or writing I hope it's clear moving forward we can compare fact and an opinion Let's see on what criteria we can differentiate between them. So, when we talk about meaning, we would say that facts refers to something that can be verified or proved. Okay, so when we're saying that something is a fact, then we need to justify it, verify it, and then prove it. While when we're talking about opinions, opinions refer to judgment, belief, or as we said, attitudes towards something. So, that would be more personal in nature. So as far as meaning is concerned, facts can be proven and opinions are general judgments or attitudes. Facts are based on observations or research while opinions are based on assumptions or personal views. Okay, that would be my personal attitude. There would be no observation, no research involved. But while we are talking about facts, we need to make sure that it is based on certain research or observation. Okay, so here it's again saying facts are objective and opinions are subjective. We already talked about it. Similarly, verification for facts is possible. We can verify whether it is true or false. But for opinions, there is no way that we can verify or justify it. Okay, we would just say I don't like ice cream. That would mean I don't like it. I don't need to prove it or verify it for you. Because that is my personal opinion. Similarly, we would see that facts represent something that really happened, okay, and opinions are perceptions about something that I think that happened, okay, so that is my personal opinion. I think this is this way, so this would be my personal opinion, but if I'm narrating a story that there was a clash, okay, so that means it is a fact and I am narrating it that something actually happened. Okay, similarly, facts are universal. Facts, if a fact is true, for example, the sky is blue, that would be true for me, that would be true for you, that would be true for everyone else. But when we are talking about opinions, they would differ from person to person. Okay, my opinion might be different from your opinion and everyone else, everyone in the class has a different opinion or may have a different opinion. 
so they are not universal facts are shown with the unbiased words okay and now when we are expressing facts and opinions there would be different choice of words that we would be using now we would be, uh, be discussing in detail uh, what would be biased words and what would be unbiased words so we can differentiate between fact and opinion in the next part of the lecture so for now we can say that facts are expressed by unbiased words and opinions are expressed with biased words because they are based on perception facts are not debatable if a fact is true that would be true and it would be true for everyone we cannot debate on it while when we're talking about opinions if we have a different opinion everyone in the class has a different opinion that would mean we can debate which opinion is has higher value or which opinion is authentic okay so we can debate on our personal perceptions but facts would be true for everyone you have seen that when we are talking about scientific inquiry we don't claim it we if we claim it we have to justify it with with other facts but when we are talking about social sciences everyone has its own opinion and we can debate over the topic when we talk about influence facts has the power to influence others because they are true or they are based on some justification opinion does not have that power to influence others because they may vary from person to person i hope the comparison between fact and opinion is now clear now we would learn how can we differentiate between them so here are some examples for facts let's see the annual report confirms so when we are saying the annual report confirms that would mean the report is based on certain research and now it confirms something so when it confirms it that would mean it is now factual in nature it is based on certain facts scientists have recently discovered discovered means found found means that is fact now that would be an observation and that would be true for everyone so that would be a fact so these are the words which are unbiased and not personal thoughts okay so according to the results results mean there were certain research involved and now the results show something that would mean that according to the research of the test results of the test now something is found or something is proven so when something is proved that would mean that is a fact similarly there is another example the investigation demonstrated so we would see that investigation demonstrates that means shows or showed something so these would be the examples for facts when there is something discovered or according to certain results or the research confirms that similar examples they would all fall under the category of facts now when we talk about opinions as we have already talked about opinions we can see opinions can be different types positions on controversial issues when we say we can debate on an opinion that would mean if there is a controversial issue you and me can have different position over certain topic or over certain idea so we can debate it so my position would be different from your position that would mean your opinion and my opinion are different similarly opinions can show predictions about certain things in the future i can predict that it's going to be a hot the next day you would say no it's winter is coming so it would be cold so our opinions about predictions in future could be different so that is your opinion and my opinion we don't have any observations we are just saying we just predicting a situation and that's how we can say it is an opinion it is not based on any research or observation we are just predicting the future and that is our opinion then we can see evaluations of people places and things so this is something again uh, related to the example i gave you at the beginning that i like ice cream so similarly if there is certain person or people i would say i like these people someone might not enjoy their company similarly when we talk about a place i like to go to university i enjoy it university while there would be students who would say no university bothers me this it is not so enjoyable okay so this is how we can evaluate place similarly things so i might like a color i might like a particular thing but other person might not enjoy that that much so 
how we evaluate things is not only about likes and dislikes it's also about seeing a thing from a certain perspective so when a perspective of an individual is involved that would mean it is an opinion moving forward here are certain examples for opinions we can see he claimed that okay he claimed that this means this is not based on a research it is his personal claim so that would be an opinion in the officer's view or in someone's point of view so when we're talking about a point of view that would be an opinion the report argues argues means it provides a certain opinion okay so whoever has written it that provides this justification or reaches to this conclusion so if the results are something else but the argument or if there is a prediction or something like that that would be an opinion of the report many scientists suspect that they have not discovered anything they haven't found anything they are just suspecting something so that would be the scientist's opinion now here are certain words which can help us identify opinions certain biased words like good bad worst worthwhile worthless similarly there could be other adjectives when we are using or we are using biased words while determining or judging something that would mean it is an opinion not a fact similarly when we are using a qualifier when we say all never some these words because that we are giving some opinion that it is not applicable to all because we just learned that opinions are not universal now here is a simple exercise for you read the sentence and tell whether it is a fact or an opinion you can pause the video and complete this exercise and then you will have to uh, write in the comment section the answers okay so it is mandatory for all the students if you do not complete this exercise that would count as you haven't watched this video and you would have negative points so what you have to do is you have to t tell by number number 1 is a fact or an opinion number 2 is a fact or an opinion so on for number 5 okay so don't forget to mention your roll number and uh, your name and then answers for this exercise thank you so much for watching this video Love is take care.